Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your MySQL database using cPanel hosting. I'm using my GoDaddy hosting for this uh, demonstration, but you can use any other hosting from any other website and the procedure will be almost the same. So first of all, just open your cPanel and then go to the category called databases and in the databases go to the category called MySQL databases and just click on this category and it will open this kind of interface and first option here which will appear here will be create a new database so you need to give the new database name for example I want to create a database called employee 101 okay so this is the database name right and then just click create database this button here and now you can see uh, this database is added right so now you just need to click this go back button and now you can see here this database is added to the list here okay but you can see here privileged user under privileged user there is no user for this database so we are going to create a user for this database so just scroll down and here you will see uh, the section called mysql user add new user so here you can add a new user for example i will give the same name as my database employee 101 so this will be the username and choose uh, a strong password for example the password which you can remember and which is really strong so you can see the strength of your password uh, using this progress bar here okay so i will give some uh, strong password and repeat the password and you can see the strength of this password is in the green zone which is a good sign and then you just need to uh, click this button which says create user so just click this button create user and now you will see the success message and it will say you have successfully created a mysql user named employee 101 or whatever name you provided so now we have a employee database and employee user right so we just need to connect this database with the user so go at the bottom here and in here you will see the section called add user to database and you can uh, click this combo box and select your usernames from the usernames list and in here you can select the database name so i only have one user and one database name so it's showing the same user and same database name and just click this add button here and it will uh, lead you to this web page and it will uh, ask you to provide the privilege to your database according to this user so generally we click all privileges so that uh, this user have all privileges for altering or creating or selecting or uh, deleting the database okay so just select all privileges and then click make changes button here okay and now you will see this success message that user employee 101 was added to the database employee 101 with the request privileges okay so now the database is connected to the user and in here in the list here current databases you can see privileged user and your username and the database name here okay so now your database is created and user is linked with the database right so just go back to your cpanel 
and now go to the category called database once again and using php admin we are going to uh, create some tables inside the database so just click php my admin from here and it's going to open this kind of interface for php my admin and you can see here it has created this employee 101 database which you can select from here and in here you can create the table right so go to the section called structure and in here give the name to your table for example employee data and the number of column it's going to contain for example it's going to contain four columns for me and i will just click ok here and now you can give the column names so for example first column name is id second column name is name third column name is surname and fourth column name is age and i can give the type here for example uh, id has integer type name has text type surname has text type and age has uh, integer type right and you can also choose whether it's a primary key or not from here and you can also choose uh, auto increment if you want or null or any other property from here which you like okay and just click save and now your table is created you can see employee data and now to insert some uh, data inside this table you can just click insert here and in this insert section you can give some data for example uh, employee id 1 and name is equal to for example tom you just give the surname and the age for example 22 okay and then click this button go and then it's going to insert this data into the database right so to see if this uh, data is inserted in your table or not you can go to search here and once again click this uh, category called uh, sql and now you can uh, see here select uh, query so you can uh, choose from here you want to select or sell insert or update or delete so this is the query which i want to run on my database table which is select asterisk from my table name in my database where the id is one okay so i will click go and now i can see this data which i have inserted in the database okay so in this way, you can create MySQL database using cPanel. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.